Inkfrog is one of the best eBay listing management software with more flexibility and more features. As promised in our previous video, we are here to show you how you can easily use Inkfrog to list your products on eBay smoothly. Previously, we introduced Inkfrog to you and went through all the basic features of Inkfrog and talked about what you can do there. If you haven't seen that video yet, then click on the i button to see that video to get an overview of what Inkfrog is and then watch this video to learn how exactly you can list products on eBay and do more. Today we are going to show you how you can list products on eBay, set a shipping policy and provide other details. This is Tashdeep from Ecom Clips and welcome back to another video on Inkfrog. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel Ecom Clips, the best e-commerce service provider and press the bell icon to always be connected with us and get all the latest videos. So grab onto your seat and let's jump into the screen. First of all, you will need to get into our Inkfrog account by placing your user ID and password. Then you will be taken directly to the Inkfrog homepage where you can see a huge section of tabs. If you want to create a brand new listing on eBay, you will need to select eBay and click on create new listing. If you are using master profiles, then select the pre-fill option located in the top right corner of your screen. The master profiles hold SEP's default listing information that will help you create brand new listing easier and faster. If you have multiple EB usernames linked with the Inkfrog, then select the username you want to make new listing for and select the eBay market. The tell us about your product field is used to add eBay catalog product details to your listing. Here you can type in the product you are wanting to list and hit search to get all the results listed below. You will be able to find a few category suggestions from eBay based on your used keywords. You can directly select the category for your suggestion and get to work. Or you can scroll through other different categories of suggestions to select the best one that's similar to your product. If you are not satisfied with the suggested categories, you can choose the suggestion window and list your product without selecting the catalog section. But if you have selected an item for the suggestion list, then you will see that all the categories have already been filled out automatically. Here you can add your own eBay catalog details in the stock photo for your listing. If the selected listing does not have required information pre-filled, you will need to provide a title and the item description. If your product has a product identifier like UPC, MPN, EAN, ISBN or GTIN, then you can enter it here. Here you can easily upload your product's image even if you use the preset template from eBay and make a change to it. If you have created listing profiles beforehand, then you have the choice of linking that profile to your listing or manually fill the necessary details. Now you will need to select the primary eBay category and also have the choice of choosing a secondary category too. But a second category is not required by eBay. But if you still want to use that field, then eBay will charge you additional listing fees. Now you can choose your listing type, auction, fixed price or multi-variation fixed price. Choose your listing duration and note that all fixed price listings are automatically GTC or good till cancelled. You can also choose to give your charity ID, which is optional and you can also set a certain percentage that you will donate to that charity. You can make your international site visibility selection if applicable and by doing so will charge you more. This will allow your listing to be displayed on the selected eBay site in addition to your own eBay default site. You can also choose to leave the lot size option if you are not selling your items in lots or are uncertain. You also find a quantity field later on. Now you can select the item condition. Remember that is not required for all eBay categories. Next you will see a condition description. This can only be accessed if you have selected any other category apart from new. After that you now can add any type of item specification regarding your item. Always know that if you see a red star beside a category then you will definitely need to fill that out. You can also add any other optional item specification to your listing. 
Next, you will need to select the country and the postal code from which the items are going to be shipped from. You can create a new template by clicking on the new template button. But if you do not want to create any sort of templates for your item, then you can skip all this all together and process to the next set. Now you can choose to make any best offer by choosing the option from here. Add your product pricing and quantity, add a sell price if needed and add a SQ. If you do not type in your own SQ, then Inkfrog will generate a random SQ for your product. If you want to use a return profile, you can choose to link the profile with this link or you can skip this process and proceed to the other requirements below. You can select whether or not you can accept returns from here. Here you have the option to select number of days an item must be written within. Select how you are going to provide the refund for your customer. You can also choose who is going to pay for the return shipment too. Now you can proceed to make the shipping profile for your product listing. Here you can either choose from the existing shipping profile or make a new one for that specific product listing. Next you will need to select the shipping type. The option varies on the different types of eBay marketplaces. If you want to go for eBay's global shipping program then you can select this option. After that you will need to select the handling time. This time refers to the time you get paid to the time it takes you to place the product to your shipping carrier. Note that this timing does not refer to the time it takes to buyer to receive that product. You can also set any sort of including or excluding shipping location to the product listing. You have the choice of choosing from one or more local shipping services to ship the product. There is an option here too that lets you choose between one or more international shipping services. Now you will need to place all the information about your product regarding shipping like package dimension, weight and the type of package. The information is a must have when you are doing calculated shipping. The final set is to add payment gateway for your product. If you are using a payment profile then you will have the option to link the product with the profile and if not then you can continue to the next steps. You can add your PayPal account and email here. You can also select more options to add additional payment information for your product. Provide your sales tax and any sort of additional payment instructions for your customers. And finally make any needed buyer requirement selections from here. After all the information is filled in, you can now select the save button to either save the product listing to your library or save it to the library and launch or set a schedule for your listing on eBay. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If yes, then please like, comment and share this video with your friends. I hope you have understood how you can easily list products on eBay via Inkfrog. If you have anything more to know regarding Inkfrog, then please write down your questions in the comment section. We will be happy to assist you. Moreover, you can also check our website www ecomclips.com. Till then, take care, stay safe, see you soon.